Good afternoon folks. Uh, so what we're going to be doing in this video is an orthographic problem here. You can see the problem in front of us. Um, so what we would always do anyway when we have one of these questions is we're going to read the information and uh, take it from there. So it says here, pictorial view of a component is shown below. An elevation, we have to draw an elevation looking in the direction of arrow A. You can see arrow A is down here. An end view or an end elevation looking in the direction of arrow B. And then finally, a plan projected from A above, which basically means a plan projected from the elevation. So we can see the object here and the overall measurements of it. So I'll just zoom in on that there now. And looking at the overall measurements, just zoom out there a little touch, uh, we can see that in the direction of ROA, our elevation, which is associated with lengths and heights, okay, our overall length is 110, and our overall height, when we add these up, 65, 15, and 15 is going to be 95. Uh, our elevation is pointing in the direction of the left. Okay, sorry, the arrow is pointing left. That means it's going to go on the left-hand side of our XY line. And then our end elevation is pointing right, so it goes on the right-hand side of the elevation. And the end elevation is associated with widths and heights. And obviously then the plan looking down on top is uh, lengths and widths. Okay, so our width then looking in this direction is 95. So there's our three measurements for working out our boxes later on. Now, very quickly, I'm just going to look at the drawing here. You can see here for, I suppose, the elevation I've painted in or colored in, shaded in uh, these red surfaces here that are standing upright, okay? Because when I'm, a, uh, say, a little stick man here, looking in this direction, I can see this red surface, this red surface. I can also see this yellow surface here and this yellow surface here as well. And I'll explain why I see I put those in yellow in a second. When I'm looking from the end elevation, I can I shade this surface here in green because I'm looking straight at it. Once again, I can see this yellow surface and I can also see this yellow surface here. And then from the bird's eye view, looking down top, I see all the blue faces here, this one, this one, and this one. And I will also see this surface and this surface as well to some extent. So the reason I've actually shaded in these three surfaces yellow is because this one, this one, and this one can be seen in more than one view. So for view A, I can see this one here but I can also see this surface in view B. This uh, I'll see in view A, and then let's say the bird's eye view, which might be, let's call it view C. And then uh, this surface here, I would see it in view B and view C. Okay, so multiple surfaces can be seen in different views. Now, in some of these questions, they're not always going to give us all the dimensions, okay, in one go for every view. So sometimes it might take figuring out a uh, little different part, or sorry, different parts of it in other views and then bringing them, that information back. So there's a little tricky bit in this question here, and it is this line here. They do not tell us the length of the line from here back to here, okay? So we're going to have to maybe find that in another view later on. Now I'll just refer to the model really, really quickly. So here's our model, okay? There's all the surfaces done in. So when I'm looking at it from the front, I'm going to see these two red surfaces and maybe this yellow surface, this yellow one. And as I said, sorry, these two red ones as well. Okay. So if I just go around to the front there, that's what I'm seeing. Okay. Two red surfaces and the two yellow surfaces. If I rotate it around and looking in from the end elevation, seeing this green surface, yellow face and yellow face. And then finally, the bird's eye view looking down on top of our plan, our horizontal plane, seeing the three blue surfaces and then this yellow surface and this yellow surface. Once again, these can be seen from obviously multiple views. So that's the idea behind it. And that's going to be our answers, okay? It's very helpful if you can visualize that beforehand. So I'm gonna go out to the drawing there now, and we wanna get that started. So just to start on that, zoom in there a little bit. I've already done my box for my elevation, end elevation plan by using my various lengths, heights, and widths. So I'm gonna start inputting the various lengths and heights for my elevation. So my various heights are 15, 15, and 65, and my lengths are 45 and 65 at the bottom. And I have some here at the top, 50, 25, and 35. So I put all those in in one go. So 15 and 15. So look, I can mark maybe from the 10. Just because my visualizer in the way. So 10 up 15, plus another 15. And then put in my lengths. I have 50 and 25 at the top, with 35 left over. 50 plus 25 is 75. And at the bottom, I have 45 with 65 left over. There's all my lengths. I'm gonna put them in in one go now. Heights transferred across, first of all. And then my lengths here, this one here just comes up for the front section of this little box portion as well. So this little red surface here, 
is there now. So I've got that. And then this bit here, when I'm looking at this face here from view A, I can see this line here, which is a sloped line. So it's the 35 at the top, which is out to here. And then it comes out another 25. So that's the 25 there. So I'm actually going to transfer that down. It's going to give me a little mark there. And I'm going to connect that up. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'll heavy in a little bit of information just to make it a little bit more clear to us. So I can heavy in this line. I can heavy this line from here. And this line the whole way. Go to the top. Maybe this little bit in. Any vertical lines I can get. And oh, one more. This one here. And then finally, the sloping surface at the front. Now, if we just look at the object there, I've obviously done in this little red box here. I haven't completed the red box sitting on top of it because I don't know the length of that line of that line there. Okay, so I don't know how far that is. I'll have to find that in another view. I've also shaded or heavied in this line here, which is essentially this edge right here. Because when I'm looking in the direction of arrow A, even though that edge there is behind this one, okay, it doesn't matter. I'm still seeing it as an upright line or a vertical line. And I'm having it or I'm heaving that in right there. I've also measured out or done uh, the 35 line here at the top. That one, which is there. And that connects down like that, down here. Okay, which was out another 25 onto that surface. Okay, so I've kind of got, I suppose, all that. This guy here, we start to build it up. I suppose this guy. So the one I'm missing maybe is that one there, and obviously that one. Okay, so that's our elevation completed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the end elevation, which is looking at it in the direction of arrow B. So I have various widths. Uh, my width at the front and the bottom is 50 and 45, and at the top, I've got 25, 15, 35, and 20. Okay, and obviously transfer over my two heights of 15. So the heights will come across, light lines across, and then I'm going to put in my widths across the top. So I have the first one is 25, plus 15 is 40, and then plus 35 will be 75 with 20 left over. So there's all my widths at the top, and then my widths at the bottom are. I think it is 50, yep, and then 45 left over. So the first green face is right there. This is how far, just really quickly here, this bit here at the back is 25 millimeters, which I've already done out here. And we can see then it's going to connect diagonally down. We can see that edge there going diagonally down, which is out another 15. So that from that 15 out there, I'm actually just going to bring that line down there. And there's our diagonal line. And then looking as well, okay, over another 35, it's going to step down. So it's going to go across 35 and then down and across. So where that 35 is at the top, you don't have to bring it down, but I'll just bring it down there like that. So it's going to cross 35 and then down and across. So once again, start having in the information that's relevant to us. Then heavy this whole surface in. I'm going to heavy in this line here. This line here, because that's the step. This line, I'm going to heavy in all of that, this portion here, all of this section at the top, and then our sloped line. So in this one here, this view, view B, the end elevation, we could actually heavy in the whole structure. Okay, so I'm very quickly just going to refer back to our model there in a second. So I was able to heavy in all of this green face here. All of this yellow face, I can actually heavy in that now, okay. And I was also able to heavy in, I suppose, this line here, okay, and some of that line there, which would be seen at the front. Probably shouldn't have heavy in that line there actually yet, just yet, and maybe not that one. But that's what we can see in that direction. So yellow surface, green surface, yellow surface. Just to refer back to the model, really, really quickly. So front elevation, almost done. Okay, just missing this section. And then the end elevation, completely done. Okay, so if you actually see, we've got the green surface and the two yellow surfaces. And if I just refer back to my object, you see it's the exact same here as well. Okay, so now the last one we actually have to put in is our bird's eye view, which is the blue faces. And then we're going to see this yellow face and this yellow face here. So to do that, what I'm going to do is any lengths I have, 
going to transfer them down in my plan. Two lengths there. Okay, brought them both down. Might need them the whole way, but I'll just bring them down. Construction lines. And I have one other one here. This one I'm only going to bring down a little bit about there. And any widths that I have, I'm going to transfer them down to my 45 degree line. Like this. Okay, this one will come down. And finally, this one. Now, another way I could do that is I could bring them down to the XY line and I could also project across at 45 degrees this way. And that will work for you as well. Now, every one of these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer them across in one go. And then this one here. Okay, there's all my widths. Oh, missed out in one, sorry. This one here. Bring that down. And finally, bring it across. So everything I actually need for my plan is down here. And what I would advise us to start with is maybe this little block here at the top. Okay, this little kind of rectangle here at the top. Okay. Now what's important to note is everything should be linked in all your views. So that rectangle at the top is here in my elevation. That means it has to be between these two lines in my plan. So it's somewhere down here. This is where it is in my end elevation. So if I follow these two lines down, it has to be between these two lines going across. So if it's going across here and here and then down here, that means those four points there are where it is in my plan view. So once again, I can heavy that in. So I get the vertical lines. Now, next little bit I'm going to focus on is this yellow surface here and this yellow surface here because I can see it's connected to the blue surface at the top. So, first things first, if I was actually to use indexing, okay, indexing can be really helpful, okay. On this yellow surface, I've got four points, and on this one, I've got four points, but they also share two common points. So, altogether, it's really actually six between the two surfaces. So, if I was to label them one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to start with this one. One, I'm going to call this point here number two. This one over here, three. I'm going to call this one down here, four, five, and six. I want to label them in all my views. So in this view here, this here, this point right here would be this one, which is number three. Below it, down here, would be number four. Okay, so three and four. Up here in this position, okay, look, three going across, it would give me two. And then also, when I'm looking in the direction of arrow A, behind 2 is also number 1. I'm going to put it inside there like that. Okay, so 2 and 1 share a common uh, point here in the elevation. Likewise, with this view down, or this point down here, this would be 5, and 6 would be directly behind it. Okay, so I've found all my 6 points in this view. Now I want to find them in this view. Remember, we're looking in the direction of arrow B. So this top left point here is number 1. This one here is number two. I'm going to come down here. I've got number five, which would be here. And then I've obviously got number six, which is here. And then number two and three in this view share the same point. Only three is behind two when we're looking in the direction of arrow B. So I'll put three inside there. And likewise with five and four, and four is in there. Okay. Now we're just going to do a little bit of a mapping exercise to locate those points down here. So if I wanted to find number one, it's down along this line. And if I want to find it exactly, it's down this line. I've already found number one right there. Let's find number two. Two is down along this one. It's up here in elevation. So there's number two. If I want to find number three, it's down here. It's up here. There's number three. One, two, three, easy enough. I already had those. But now I want to find four, sorry, four, five, and six. So to find number four, Four is down here, so it has to be somewhere along this line. Let's find it in elevation. There it is. There's number four. Let's do the same with number five. It's down on the same line as number four. So there's number five. And finally, number six is out along here. There's number six. Okay, and we can see that one connects to six, two connects to five, three connects to four, and four to five to six. So 1 connects to 6, 2 connects to 5, so that might have been the hard one there, getting that diagonal one, and then 3 connects to 4, 
and then likewise 4 over 5 and 5 up to 6. So there we have it. We have now got our yellow face, our yellow face and our blue face. Now we just have to complete the rest of the object by getting this line here, this line, and then I suppose this line as well. Okay, and this line also I suppose, but it wouldn't be seen until obviously you're looking down on top of it. So to be able to complete the rest of it now, I can see here that it's going to go heavy all the way across, then it's going to go down to here, which is where this green face is at the front, then it's going to go across. Now this yellow surface, when I'm looking in the plan view, this yellow surface here, I'll actually see it, even though it's kind of obviously a step, I'm actually going to see that as a straight continuous line because it goes across, but it stays on the same surface. It's just dropping down a level and then goes across. So it's all one line, okay, when I look down on top of it, and then there's going to be this line here. So that means I can actually heavy into this all the way down to here. I can heavy across here. Now, I have to find where the green face is here. So the green face was this surface here. So follow that down, where it hits here, bring it across, that's where the green face ends. So right there like that. Likewise, the yellow face is right here. Where does that end? It ends here on this edge, where the red face is here. So that red face here, if I follow it down, it's right there. That's going to connect over. If I'm accurate, it should probably be 45 degrees, and it is. So there we go. And then finally, maybe that across. And the last bit I'm looking for is this step. The step is here, follow it down, bring it across. There's the step in my plan view. The plan view is completed. Last little bit, if you remember from the very start, we didn't have this measurement right here, okay? But by now, finding it in my plan, I know exactly the position of it. Having found it in the plan, I can transfer it up and thereby complete the elevation and complete in that last red surface. So there we have it. There is the question completed, okay? The object down there, elevation, end elevation plan. Quickly refer to the model just to check that everything's all right. So end elevation looks good. Elevation looks good. Found that line now. And then we'll get up to the bird's eye view. Two blues, or sorry, three blue surfaces and then the two yellow surfaces. So there we have it. That is the question complete. Once again, guys, I hope you found it helpful. That's this done.